Hi, everybody, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Mark Curtis. We are talking salmon today, and when appetizing, it is distressing to those who are in this industry because of the declining salmon population and the fishing season being closed. We're going to try and get an overview on the whole subject today by talking with Dr. John Rosenfield, who is uh, with the Bay Institute. He is a freshwater biologist, and, of course, Captain Mike Hudson, who is the uh, uh, executive director of the Small Boat Commercial Salmon Fishermen's Association. Did I get that right? You got that right. All right, Doctor, let's start with you. What has happened to the salmon population? Why are we in the, the state that we're in right now? Well, salmon populations all up and down our coast are endangered. There are 26 endangered populations of Pacific salmon um, from California all the way through Washington. And the major reason for that is that we put a lot of dams uh, on, our, on our big rivers. Uh, and our small rivers too, and those dams block access to spawning habitat, and the spawning habitat that's available downstream of those dams is, is damaged by the way those dams operate uh, when they release water and the quality of water that they release. So the, the decline, and it's a rather stark decline in the, in the salmon fishing population, and then we have the season being closed. What has it done to your industry, Captain Mike? Well, uh, you see that I'm sitting here in the summertime instead of being out on my boat, so right. I'm, I'm apparently not working. So this is the second year in a row that I'm not working, and uh, thousands of other fishermen along our coast are not working, not only in California, but also in Oregon, and uh, essentially on our entire west coast. It's, uh, it's a very devastating thing that's happening. What can we do to resolve the problem? Fish need water. Uh, that's, that's, that's the fact of nature that, uh, that fish need water and, and the big thing that we're seeing in California is that we're not letting enough water go down our Sacramento River into the ocean. And uh, a lot of people say that, oh, we should conserve all this water and not let it go to the ocean and then we use it for other purposes. But there really is not a drop of water that flows from the Sacramento River down into San Francisco Bay into the ocean. There's a wasted drop of water because Mother Nature puts it to use, and then we get back to work. I know when I looked on the website, I found this interesting. There was a, a, a headline that said, uh, and the website is salmonaid.org, and we'll mention that again. It said, why you should eat wild salmon to save them. Explain what that means, doctor. Well, wherever, uh, there, there are two options when you, when you want to eat salmon. There's wild salmon and there's farm salmon. Uh, and wherever farm salmon are grown, they're grown in, in estuaries in these open net pens. Where, wherever that happens, wild populations have gone extinct. Uh, these farms uh, dump a lot of pollutants into our water, whether it's fish waste or antibiotics um, or just the leftovers of the food. Um, and that impacts the wild populations. It also impacts the, the quality of the environment for, for all the fish that are there. You uh, gentlemen are involved in a big event that's coming up in June, June 20th and 21st at Jack London Square in Oakland. It's called Salmon Aid. Explain what Salmon Aid is and what you're hoping to do with that uh, forum. We saw uh, a few years ago when we had the first salmon fishery disaster that happened when over 60,000 fish died on the Klamath before they had a chance to spawn. We saw that we, got, we were going to have real big problems with our salmon population, so we got together groups of salmon supporters from all the way up and down the coast from as far south as Morro Bay, California mm -hmm. to as far north as Bristol Bay, Alaska. And they are commercial fishermen, they are sport fishermen, they are tribal fishermen from the First Nations that live along the rivers and restoration organizations such as uh, the Bay Institute and others. Uh, we're, we're getting together with uh, some really great chefs from the slow food movement and some excellent bands and we're putting on a two-day festival to uh, to reach out to the public, to let the public know what's going on, what's going on with okay. our salmon. Well, let me uh, plug the event again because we're just about out of time here. It's the uh, Salmon Aid Festival. It's June 20th and 21st at Jack London Square on the waterfront in Oakland. And again, the website is www.salmonaid, all one word, salmonaid.org. I want to thank Dr. John Rosenfield from the Bay Institute and uh, Captain Mike Hudson from the Small Boat Commercial, Commercial Salmon Fishermen's Association. It's a mouthful, but thank you both for being here and thank you for what you're doing for salmon. Thanks for thank having you. us. Thanks for joining us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Mark Curtis.